Another problem that fits squarely in the category of related rates. This time, a ladder 25 feet long is leaning against the wall of a house. The base of the ladder is pulled away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second. What is the velocity of the top of the ladder when the base is 7 feet away from the wall? Where can we start? Perhaps by giving some names to the dimensions in question. If this ladder is 25 feet long, then you'd be safe in assuming that the distance along this slanted line here is always 25. To say that the base of the ladder is pulled away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second is to say that, well, this little thing here is moving this way at a certain rate, a rate of 2 feet per second. We're also being asked about a situation when the base of the ladder is 7 feet away from the wall, so under the same conditions when this is happening, this distance is 7 feet. We've been asked for the velocity of the top of the ladder, so this here, the rate at which this is changing, at which this point is moving down, is what's in question. But how can we relate these quantities to each other? It is, after all, a related rates problem. Well, the answer involves not thinking of these as moving points, but rather as these being moving dimensions or changing dimensions. Watch what happens when I call this side of the triangle x and this side y. It behooves us then to make a statement about the Pythagorean theorem. It is true for this picture that x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 squared. And it is true that we are able to take the derivative of this equation implicitly. Don't forget that these quantities are changing as time marches on. So we're going to take our implicit derivative with respect to time. That means that x squared, the derivative, becomes 2x times dx dt. Remember the chain rule. y squared becomes 2y dy dt. The 25 squared is a number. The derivative is 0. And that's, of course, because this quantity, this length, is actually never going to change. So why would it be helpful to have this written out? Because we know the value of x. We were told, in a, we were told about a situation where it was 7 feet. We know that the point on this part of the ladder is moving at 2 feet per second. That, by extension, means that this side of the triangle is expanding by 2 feet per second. So the rate of change in x with respect to time is then 2. Okay, so that means we know this and we know this. Do we know why? Well, kind of. We just have to take a detour into the Pythagorean theorem that describes this triangle. Knowing that x is 7, we can plug in 7 squared plus y squared equals 25 squared. 7 squared is 49. 25 squared is 625. I will subtract 49 from both sides. You'll get 576. You'll try to take the square root of both sides. Exactly 24. Nice. So yeah, we do know that. And we are setting out to find dy dt, the rate at which this side of the triangle is closing, which is exactly what we've been asked about. It also happens to be the velocity of the top of the ladder. All right, people, time to plug and chug. We have 2 times x, which is 7, times dx dt, which is 2, plus 2 times y, which we found to be 24, equals 0. I'm getting 28 plus 48 dy dt equals 0. I'm subtracting 28 from both sides. We've got negative 28 on the right here. We're going to divide both sides by 48. We get the negative quantity, negative 0 0.583. Why negative? Because the ladder is falling down, and this dimension is closing. 